come out of their cliques, out of their one another, and to show their love one to another, to greet people as they come into church. I came here, and there's, when I came here, there's only two or three people came and shook my hands and introduced themselves. And I love God's people. And I want to be what God has for me to be. And what he wants me to be. We want you to be. And, uh, and he showed me in many churches, people sit back in their little cliques, even when they, the pastors, they have their little cliques with their, their people. And when people come in, God told me, he says, my people are hurting. They need love. But where is my love? Where is my hand? Because we're supposed to be God's hand, feet, and mouth. And he's been speaking to me. And I've been, I said, no, I don't want to do that. I don't want to get up and say anything to the churches. Because they don't listen anyway. They, when you go down for prayer, okay, people, they have their little pro, uh, prayer warriors. And, and I, but I went down, and I'm not naming no churches or nobody, but I went down, and there was only, I said, God, you send me a person you would have to pray for me. Because I was going through a thing with my daughter-in-law, they were trying to get her abort her baby, and the Holy Ghost told me to go to her and tell her not to do it. And they told her the baby's deformed, and God told me, he said, no, that baby's coming out whole, healthy, and everything normal on that baby. Amen. And the baby is normal. And that's the baby you see me coming up the park with. Her name's Abaya. That's God, heaven backwards. And, and she is my little, my, I prayed for her when she was in the womb. I prayed for her when she came out. And I keep praying for her now. And I had her just a couple days, Friday until Saturday. And I get on my little walker and I walk and I say hallelujah. It's your hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I pray over her and I ask the Lord to raise her up in the Holy Ghost and fire. And put the fire in her. And a desire to serve Him. Because when we give our hearts and our Lord, our hearts to the Lord, we're no longer our we're His. We're bought with the price. With the blood of Jesus. Yes. And we are to serve him when we bow our knee and we confess him as our Lord and Savior. And we ask the Lord to do a work in us. And, and, I, and Brother Marlon, you say Bob Jonah. Okay, a few years ago, I had a dream about the whale. And I'm sharing it with this lady back here, I don't know her name that well, but anyway, and I was walking on the beach, the water was clear blue, and my whale had a big smile on its face, and I'm walking inside and out of the water, and the whale grabbed my foot, then it chomped up to the knee, then it chomped up, and I'm pushing and saying no with my other foot, no, and kicking it. And that smile was still on that fish's mind. And I, and I fell out of bed. My husband got up and he said, what are you doing down here? I said, well, I don't know what I'm doing down here. <laughs> but anyway, I don't know if the, the whale swallowed me or not, but I mentioned that to my prayer partner. And she says, you must be doing something that you're not supposed to be doing to have that dream, like Jonah. Jonah didn't want to go to Nineveh and do God's work. And she says, you must not be wanting to do what God wants you to do. And I said, well, I've been fighting the Holy Ghost, but that's no one to fight. <laughs> he can't win. 
He told me you can't run, you can't run, right. and you can't hide. And I, that God, he's been dealing me with people. And I, we need to get out of our seats, out of our pews. Even if you feel uncomfortable, go and greet one or two, maybe five people. And throw your arms around and tell them you love them. And if the Lord puts a prayer on your heart, pray for them. You can't get nothing from them. You can't get no devil, no demon. People think, oh, if I go over there and do that, something's going to enter me. No, because God is greater than the enemy and the devil in all his powers. Amen, amen, amen. amen. And God... Like a lot of people, that they say, well, don't let nobody pray for you because they can enter you. Oh. Who do you have in you? <laughs> Who do you have in you? Amen. Amen. God, the Holy Ghost, Woo. he's greater than any demon and any greater. power of greater. darkness in this world and Satan himself. Because the blood, I learned years when the Lord first started bringing me in. I used to go to my pastor. I said, the devil's coming in like a flood. I didn't know nothing. I wasn't saved. I wasn't born again. But the Holy Ghost spoke to me. And he says, I said, Lord, how? How is he coming in? And he came in with my mother-in-law and my brother-in-law and my sister-in-law. And I seen the Lord showed me how he was coming in because it was all habit in my family. And, and I, I don't want to take too long, but the, I've been through a lot. I've seen a lot. And God just wants us to get up out of our pews, love on people, because he made a body of Christ for them to go out to love on the ungodly and the ugly and the dirty and the and people that don't dress like you, don't even act like you, and ain't even born again. Because he's going to bring them in your path. Because he's already brought them in my path. And that he's been dealing with me to love them. To love them. And that's all I got to say to you. Thank you.